What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another late night in the brew lab with me, Lone Fox, your brewmaster in chief. And tonight in the brew lab, I'm coming at you with what was supposed to be voted on by the subscribers, but it is my fault. I did not put the poll up early enough on, uh, you know, all on my social medias, and uh, so we ha it hasn't been online long enough for there to be enough votes for me to really make a proper call on this one so i'm just going to play with what i like and what you're going to have to do those of you who are watching this go and cast your votes please but don't cast your votes for this deck that you're about to see because obviously it will you know me showing it tonight rem removes it from the running so without further ado and i hope that makes sense Let's jump into tonight's brew. I'm playing green enchantments. And I'm going to show you the gruel version in a second, just to see, show you like how the evolution of the, the idea came about. But no one's really playing this. This is like a you know first timer, and uh, I'm surprised because it's pretty freaking nice. It's very much focused around one really sweet new card, which is Audacity, a one mana. Green Aura that gives the enchanted creature plus two plus O oh, and trample. And then if Audacity is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you also draw a card, which is not terrible. Um, so giving our Generous Visitor trample, giving our Fang of Shigeki trample, giving our Gnarled Grove Strider trample, very underplayed card, which we'll get to in a moment, is obviously amazing. Um, but the card draw is also quite nice. And the fact that it's an aura, especially in this deck, makes a lot of sense the second card in the deck is fang of shigeki which is also an enchantment not an aura but a creature this one is death touch which is relevant um you know not only can you just chump block some stuff which is great but you can also use your master's rebuke which is my removal spell of choice in the deck especially now in mono green like this is the one i like the most because you can do creature or planeswalker instant speed two mana boom boom um with the death touch that's uh you know any creature just dead straight away so really nice um to have the this like overlapping layers of synergy where not only is it um an enchantment so it triggers our generous visitor it triggers our cameo of transients etc but it's also got death touch so it works nicely with our master's rebuke then we've got a full place of the generous visitor whenever you cast an enchantment spell put a plus one plus one target uh creature you would have seen this in your Selesnya Enchantments decks. It works really nicely with Cami of Transients. So turn one, Visitor, turn two, Transients, and then you just start casting enchantments. That's the kind of the, the dream. But um, even if it doesn't go exactly like that, it's still great because this keeps coming back from the graveyard. You know, if an enchantment entered the battlefield, uh, enter the graveyard uh, from the battlefield this turn, you may return it from your graveyard to your hand so even if they you, you know you have your audacity on the cami of transient the opponent kills it great you not only draw a card but you you know because audacity just went into the graveyard you also get to draw uh, you know you get your your cami transient back put it back onto the battlefield the next turn so nice little recursive threat that i'm sure you've uh, seen many many times on the opponent's side of the battlefield then we've got another amazing new card so the two new auras the whole reason for this deck audacity blanchard armor blanchard armor gives enchanted creature plus one plus one for each forest you control so now the deck with 22 forests mono green you can imagine this giving a lot of plus one plus one and again it's an aura it's an enchantment it triggers all of our stuff um it it just you know works perfectly with audacity we're giving the thing trample with audacity now we give it blanchard armor it gains like plus four plus four plus five plus five whatever the case may be on top of the trample boom, boom swing in for the kill really really nice um then we've got full place of jugan defends the temple giving the deck a nice little bit of aerial um attack once it flips onto the remnant of the rising star if you've got five or more creatures that are modified in play um, it gets plus five plus five and has trample so you get a you know uh, potentially a seven seven frampler that you can buff up with your blanchard armors your audacities and stuff amazing then talked about it for a second at the beginning of the introduction but dormant grove 
highly underplayed for probably many reasons. I mean, there's better four drafts right now in green, even just the yeah, Alvin Wald Oddity. I guess it just depends what version of green you're playing. In this specific deck, this is definitely the way to go. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. So modifying your stuff for you kind of like a fight rigging which was actually initially in this deck but i ended up cutting it because there wasn't any like ooh good hits to have off of it and sure it's just a good spell in and of itself but i was preferring to just have you know more um actual creatures and things than you know ooh, you hit a glorious sunrise off of your fight rigging it's not it's the five mana thing that you can just hard cast anyway and it's not adding anything to the combat state if you get the trigger during combat or whatever so just yeah uh cut the fight rigging and went with dormant grove instead and uh, it's got a lower threshold the fight rigging requires the creature to have a um, power seven or greater i think it is uh in this case it's um toughness six or greater so Quite quickly with all of these triggers happening with the generous visitor even if you, you just put blanchard armor on something you get that six toughness quite quickly and then it flips into gnarled grove strider which gives all your creatures vigilance it's amazing against wandering emperor your remnant of the rising star gets you know everything gets vigilance if if grove strider is in play and it's got a six toughness it's a really good blocker. Um, I'm just loving this card. Really good in the shell. It's an enchantment, triggers all your things. Don't have to repeat myself. But right at the top end here, we've got Glorious Sunrise, where initially I was playing uh, um, Unnatural Growth. I settled on this because Unnatural Growth just doubles your creature's power and toughness, which is, of course, amazing, and it's also an enchantment. We could even just put in like a one of honestly. Let's see how it plays out. Maybe just put in what maybe split it two and two, but no, nah, probably just like a one of unnatural growth. Because Glorious Sunrise is just so much more versatile. It gives all your creatures plus one plus one and gain trample until end of turn. Which, you know, a lot of them already have trample or will maybe have trample because of audacity, the ones that don't. You just give this nice boost plus trample is amazing the card draw if you have a creature with power three or greater draw a card amazing um the gain life freaking amazing and then you can also use it to ramp the greatest use i found for it is post combat main phase second main phase you target a land that's untapped obviously and you give it this land taps to add three instead of one and then you play a creature, and you've already got Remnant of Rising Star in play, which says that whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X. When you do, you put plus one plus one counters on it equal to X. So you play your creature, now you've got an additional three mana that you can dump into that mana sink and make this huge, you know, as it enters the battlefield straight away, you've got a huge fang of Shigeki or whatever. Amazing. And that's a deck. It's pretty simple and straightforward, but completely completely new strategy i haven't seen anybody playing mono green like this on the ladder i hope we can get some nice sweet wins and that all my card choices make sense to you by the end of this video so let's jump into some games definitely going to be playing in unranked these types of uh untested uh janky shenanigans definitely need to go in unranked but if we're starting to feel good towards the end because honestly in testing i got just the most insane wins and i was like okay this i need to show you guys and if it if it feels still good after a few more matches uh as it did in testing then we may even go for a little ladder spin Ooh, no. Nah. Nice. Dunk. Definitely gonna go with Jugan here. That red mana is quite terrifying while my creatures are this tiny. Interesting. Ooh. The iconoclast.
Get rid of that. One more land, we can play Sunrise next turn, which would just be freaking amazing. <coughs> Pardon me. Will he take his own? Yes, so reducing the cost and cost of creatures. Now he's got two mana available. Unkicked, I ooh, okay. I think we're definitely going for the sunrise, right? Nah, sorry, that that's my bad. I, sh I should have. I'm getting a little I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. We we win the game next turn, right? We just need to defend this attack and then and then we win. Watch this. <laughs> this we got in plus five, plus plus seven, plus seven. And then I would have given it plus one plus one trample. I'm telling you guys, there's something to this. You get those feelings when you're like tinkering, tinkering. This initially started off as a gruel deck, and then I was like, why play the red? Just cut the red. Let's. I mean, you can go really quick. If you get the right curve with this deck, like you're swinging for ridiculous amounts on turn four, turn three. That aura with the plus one, plus one for each forest on your trample creature. Darth Wing <laughs> Darth Wing Nut. Okay, 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 not amazing. But it's a keeper. One, two, and then hope to draw some enchantments that are cheap, like there we go. Play a thing. Don't remove my stuff, okay. Play a thing. Just play a thing. Chill out. Don't remove my stuff. No, you don't want to. Maybe Tamio's safekeeping in this deck is a good idea. Okay, I've definitely got to give the trample there. No ramp for you, my friend. Maximum, maximum damage. So bored of Fable. Oh god, even an unranked. Damn it. Not even using that second chapter. Kind of like John Dagro or something. The moment of truth, baby. GG's. Down to two, and I draw a card. Launch with armor. Oh. No. On the nick of time. We could have won it. 
I've always hated crowds. We could have won it, it was close. Never say never. We could gain six life a turn. No. <laughs> okay. Good game. Good game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drop it. Weather seed treaty. Stuff you find in unranked, man. That's a lot of damage. Nine damage. Yeah, that's game. That's game. That's game. That's game. Let's let's be polite and, and stick around. The damn Liliana just did it. Close, very close. So close. I think if we just put the No, it, it was always just going to be one, down to one life. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the, the hairs of your chinny-chin-chin, chin, my friend. You know, wait, if I just put... The, maybe there was... If I just put the plus one, plus one on the... Thing he blocked one more damage would have got I don't know regardless that's a very nice hand you can't tell turn one turn two you just double double whammy what a turn two And we got the lands for Jugan next turn. Swinging for five. <clears throat> Loam speaker. <laughs> yep. That is a four drop. Ooh, so scary. Some fight spell could be pretty annoying. Oh, nice. That should just do it. 
immediately. Can't believe he traded the Defiler. I think I can this way go just modify this one. This will give this the the frample that it needs. This the, the the green widow has reach, but it's not enough. Oh, what? Whoopsie. Guys, 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 I'm telling you, we found a new brew, one that I'm really enjoying. We still haven't seen the uh, the four drop come into effect properly, so let's keep playing. Ooh. Cheers. There it is. Counter spell? No counter spell. Maybe it's a virtuoso. Brutal Kassar. That sucks. Give me a break, mate. So it's soldiers. <laughs> oh, how boring. I'm ready to concede. Yeah. It's the beauty of unranked. I'm not going to stick around for this bullshit. On to the next one. <laughs> we needed one way to fight something with our fight spell to get something back from the Brutal Cathar, but the double Brutal Cathar was just too much. Still need to make a deck around this card. The Urza battleship thing. I got a few ideas up my sleeves. So much to brew, so little time. Crumb worthy. Pardon me. Double Shigeki. Oh, baby. Really? Wow, that's great. Wasn't expecting that. I guess there could be a, a path of peril now. Go for the throat.
This is gonna be a monster hit. Oh, baby. Oh, Blanchwood armor, baby. Oh my goodness, this card, guys. Oh, God. Just out of nowhere. No one's playing it. Very, very nice. All right. How are we doing for time? 25. Definitely going to go a little bit shorter tonight, guys. Like Christmas things, house full of children. I'm tired. <laughs> These winter days. But I think we've done a fair job of showcasing the deck. I still haven't managed to play the four drops, so you know, we've, got, we've got time. We've got time to play a good couple more matches and actually play with that card. The vigilance on everything is just oh, priceless. There it is. There it is. Not the best hand, though. But just for the sake of uh, content, we'll play it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so definitely self-mill stuff going on here. Oh, I was expecting that rat thing. There's this new rat. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Somehow when I play this deck, I just never get a good hand like this. Okay, but this slowly reduces the Urborg Borgoif. Ah, oh, that hurts so much. Come on. Nothing has trample. We can play Shigeki. Any day now. this because it's gonna auto flip toughness oh no oh no it's not I thought it was any creature then if that creature has toughness six or greater oh. oops now we've lost I mean pff, not necessarily but
He goes for the block. That's cool. Does he have another Digraph Rebirth? That's the question. I need to start gaining some life. Oh, no! Four, five, six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can just do it again right now. So it's just bonkers. Oh. Oh, that's scam. That's definitely the game. Okay, wait, wait, wait. to seven that won't win you the game don't think On attack. The only thing that'll win us the match is another uh, Blanche with armor. GG. <clears throat> close. Very close, my friend. <laughs> Somehow, whenever I play that sort of uh, self-mill stuff, I get completely trashed. Like, I cannot play that deck. It's just the biggest... Like, I play mono blue control better than I play you know, Sultai self mill. It's never been my strong suit. Snap keep. Toast and eggs. Oh, wow, what a hand.
It's got something. Okay. Topiary Stomper. Not even. It's just game. It doesn't have something. Fine. <laughs> it's quick, guys. It's quick. Yes, I had fun in that match. <laughs> I think we're going to have to leave it at that. We've almost arrived at the 45 minute mark. We've done everything that the deck is supposed to do. I think we can do one more match. One more match. Definitely ladder ready. I'm just whatever. I'm definitely ladder ready. I highly recommend you take this for a spin. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Like, this is a, a doozy. It's not often that, I, like, something comes out of the blue so much like this one. I don't... I, uh, yeah. No clickbaity nonsense of any type. This card is just the bomb diggity. Yes, doesn't go for the play with fire. Now nah, it's going to be out of your reach, my friend. Be brutal, Cathar. Okay. We get the card draw. Destroy evil. Hmm. Okay, I was expecting Thundering Raiju there for a second. It's no good. Give me land, please. Land, 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 land. Yes! Please not another destroy evil on my Kami of Transients, please. It's the Raiju. Okay, that's cool. Unbelievable.
<clears throat> Boris Agro, huh? Get back, Okami. Flip the grove. And we win the game. <laughs> this card is so sick. The vigilance is just too good. Alright, ladies and gents, that is going to be it for tonight's gameplay footage. Definitely cannot recommend this brew enough. And it's not even like a huge investment. You don't need to have like ooh, crazy rares and mythics. This is very budget friendly. Most of you already have Jugan from back in the day. It's the only mythic in the deck. Glorious Sunrise isn't essential. You could definitely consider playing Unnatural Growth. If you don't have a full playset of Glorious Sunrise, you could play some Unnatural Growths. Um, if you don't have a full playset of either, you could slot in one or two fight riggings if you want to. Um, yeah. The, the only new cards, uh, the only real new investment is Audacity and Blanchard Armor, which are both uncommon. So I think uh, definitely very accessible and one that I consider to be uh, one of the nicer brews of late. So take it for a spin, please. <coughs> but that is going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video around to all your friends to see. We're almost at 900 subs, so help me get there. Thank you. I will see you all tomorrow with another fresh, fresh brew. And until then, this is Lone Fox from the Brew Lab, signing out. Peace, y'all.